Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for taking time to watch another video. So this is the final lesson for module two. We are gonna talk about teamwork within Microsoft 365. And the module, what we are going through is Microsoft 365 core services. So far we have seen the core Microsoft services, how to deploy Windows 10 and Office 365. We have learned Unified Endpoint Management in Microsoft 365, which is Microsoft Intune and other services. And finally, in this lesson, we are going to talk about teamwork in Microsoft 365. After this lesson, you should be able to define the teamwork scenarios that are enabled in Microsoft 365. You will be able to name products in Microsoft 365 that are part of teamwork toolset. You would be able to describe how Microsoft 365 can help you run meetings and projects more efficiently. And finally, you will be able to explain how Microsoft 365 analytics tools can improve efficiency. Let's look at teamwork tools in Microsoft 365. No two teams look exactly alike. The nature of teamwork continues to evolve as teams of various shapes and sizes come together for short-term and long-term project. Microsoft 365 give your teams the right tools at the right time for the right task. All right, let's look at these tools in detail. With the familiar Outlook email-based experience, you can stay in touch with your colleagues and share calendar, files, tasks to make sure important deliverables get attention. Microsoft Teams is the digital hub for teamwork in Microsoft 365. It brings together Teams conversation and content so your users can stay up to date on critical project. Yammer is a community conversation tool designed to help encourage open dialogue, idea generation, and connections across the company. On top of it, you can store your content in the cloud with SharePoint and OneDrive for business. This lets you access your files on any device and share them with other inside or outside your organization. And Office Apps is what it is gonna make you possible connecting and using these apps to co-author as well, which works great with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, etc. And finally, Microsoft Graph, which provides a seamless connection between people and relevant content. So which tools are best for your organization's teamwork needs? It generally depends on your team members' role in the project and how you intend to communicate and collaborate with them. Team members can typically be categorized as either part of the inner loop or outer loop for people that you collaborate with. So the inner loop is made up of people you actively work on a regular basis. Use Microsoft Teams to let the inner loop members stay tightly connected on project updates and related content and files no longer what they are located. The inner loop is made up of people you actively work with on a regular basis. Use Microsoft Teams to let the inner loop members stay tightly connected on project updates and related content and files no matter where they are located. With Outer Loop, Outer loop is made up of people you may not work with regularly on a project or in the team, but who have a vested interest, like a project stakeholder or common goal. So use Yammer to openly share information, find expertise, and share ideas across your organization. If you prefer working in email, Outlook is an ideal way to start conversation. When it comes to managing teams' content and files, SharePoint is a tool that can bring together content from Microsoft Teams, Yammer, Outlook to keep track of critical project information no matter where the conversation starts. Users work in many ways, sometimes along departmental lines and other times with team members from other departments. Often, they also work with people from outside of their organization, such as suppliers and customers. When users are working together on a document in real time, it is called co-authoring. Microsoft 365 provide co-authoring capabilities across all core Microsoft Office apps. 
You can co-author on an office document when it is stored in OneDrive for Business or SharePoint. Microsoft Teams brings author presence information into the co-authoring experience and adds a chat-based workspace for people who are actively working in the doc. Use teamwork tools to run meetings and projects. It is estimated that the average knowledge worker spends nearly one third of the week in meetings. With Microsoft 365, you can easily schedule calls and online meetings, quickly start meeting through an ad hoc call or instant message, create a shared workspace for all your team conversation, files, meetings, and apps. You would be able to automate process and workflows across your organizations. You can save time with self-service tools for schedule and task management. Yammer is designed to help you encourage open dialogue, idea generation, and connections across your company. With Yammer, you can modernize organization-wide communication. The two-way executive forums or live company-wide settings are giving everyone a voice. Another example is using Microsoft Stream, which enables everyone in your organization to securely create, discover, and share videos. And finally, Microsoft Search provides a rich, familiar, and consistent search experience across the web and the app used in your organization. So how do you create a communication site? With SharePoint, you can create communication sites. These sites are designed to publish curated news, important announcement, stories, and resources to employees, regardless of their device or location. Easy to use templates available on SharePoint homepage in Microsoft 365 help you quickly create a professional design. And finally, workplace analytics. Microsoft 365 include two analytic tools that gather data and use AI to provide insights into the working habits of individuals and organizations. These two tools are called My Analytics and Workplace Analytics. So let's look at My Analytics. My Analytics lets you see how you spend your time at work and then suggests ways to work smarter from cutting unproductive meeting time to getting better work-life balance, etc. My Analytics does this by looking at data about emails, meetings, and Teams calls and chats, as well as how you use your Office 365. My Analytics is included in Microsoft 365 e subscription and support Outlook add-ins as well. While My Analytics focus on insight at the individual level, Workplace Analytics focuses on organization. Use Workplace Analytics to identify collaboration patterns that impact productivity, workforce effectiveness, and employee engagement. It helps you understand how your organization spends its time and how groups work together. When you understand how your organization works, you can look for efficiencies and best practices. That concludes end of lesson four and we completed the end of module two as well. Thank you so much for your time. In the next video, what we are gonna do is we are gonna review the module two. We're gonna go through all the high level points and I'm gonna have a few questions to test your knowledge as well. So I'll see you on the next video. Till then, take care.